Over the years, the Galaxy S has been one of the top-selling smartphone series, usually providing more advanced tech than the iPhone at a more affordable price. This has allowed Samsung to compete with Apple and even outpace them in sales. In this video we will look at the evolution of the Galaxy S series. The first version of the Galaxy S was similar to other standard Android handsets released at that time, but with a large, high-quality display. Although its hardware did not compare to the iPhone 4, the first Galaxy S sold quite well in comparison, reaching 25 million units in three years. Although the Galaxy S2 featured a plastic build like the first model, its build quality was greatly improved. Its display was also improved to a larger 4.3-inch Super AMOLED panel. With these changes, Samsung was able to increase sales to almost 40 million units. The following version of the Galaxy grew even more, implementing an HD 4.8-inch display panel, while also implementing a much slicker design which became synonymous with the Galaxy. This version reached 70 million units in sales, with 9 million pre-orders. The display size continued increasing, particularly after the larger Galaxy Note had such a positive reception. The Note proved there was a desire for oversized phones. The S4 came with a 5-inch Full HD Super AMOLED panel, and went on to become the fastest-selling Galaxy S, shipping 10 million units in 27 days. The S5 also had a Full HD screen as the S4, but it was slightly bigger, measuring 5.1 inch. This was the very first Galaxy S branded phone to offer water and dust resistance. It was also the very first Galaxy to offer a fingerprint scanner. It was located within the home button. For the Galaxy S6, Samsung switched to a metal and glass construction instead of plastic. They kept the display at 5.1 inch but increased the resolution to Quad HD. They upgraded the CPU to an octa-core processor, increased the RAM to 3GB, and implemented a 16-megapixel rear camera and 5-megapixel front-facing camera. The S6 Edge was released alongside the S6. It featured the same hardware except for the display, which was curved on both edges. The curved edges provide alerts and other functionality. It was also meant to give the illusion of no bezel. Neither S6 phone sales performed as expected, and Samsung's stock took a hit. Like its predecessor, the S7 came with a 5.1-inch Quad HD display. The 16-megapixel camera was replaced with a 12-megapixel model featuring the dual-pixel technology for better low-light photography. The RAM was increased by 1 gig to 4 gigabytes, and Samsung Pay was enabled on the phone, which could work through NFC. The S7 Edge had the same hardware as the S7, except for the display, which was larger, at 5.5 inches versus 5.1. This model was a bit rounder than the S6 Edge, making it easier to handle. The Galaxy S8 was a complete departure from the standard Galaxy S design. It was the first to introduce the Infinity display, in reference to the edge-to-edge -edge screen with virtually no bezel. The front-mounted home button was moved to the back, albeit in a slightly awkward position. A second variant was launched as the S8 Plus, which came with a bigger screen and better battery. The Galaxy S9 looked identical to the S8, but upgraded with more power and more storage options. The S9 Plus also launched alongside this model, offering a dual aperture main camera that was a huge improvement from the S8 Plus. The Galaxy S10 took huge leaps with its tech, leapfrogging the iPhone and all other Android handsets. It included a ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, a triple camera system, front camera within the screen, 
and wireless reverse charging, making this the flagship to beat in 2019 and 2020.